Another important networking concept is network administration. Network administration is typically done by an individual who is responsible for actually taking care of the network, more or less like the doctor who's in charge of the patients and actually makes the rounds every day to make sure that all the patients are doing all right. Network administration applications will allow you to monitor the different activities that are going on in the network. For example, protocol analyzers will allow you to capture and view the packets that are being sent on the network. Part of our introduction was the fact that you broke out your packet sniffer, which is very much the same as a protocol analyzer, and you started to examine the packets that were coming inbound on the internet. That's exactly what protocol analyzers and packet sniffers allow you to do. They allow you to literally capture, encode, decode, and determine what's taking place on your network on a packet-by-packet -packet basis. Some of the sample products that we have in Microsoft Windows include the Performance Monitor, which is a full-blown analysis tool that not only analyzes protocols, but also services and system-level information, as well as the Microsoft System Monitor, which is much more closely resembling that of a pure protocol analyzer. We also have what is known as Etherreal, which is a free download packet sniffer that does analysis of data packets. And we're going to use it in this series to examine some things that may happen on the network that we need to be familiar with. We also have the network sniffer itself, which is one of the originals. This provides full protocol analysis and packet sniffing capabilities for network managers that must be able to examine things in real time as they exist on the network. In addition, we have other network management applications which allow us to do things like inventory or software metering or remote control of a computer to help with possible help desk problems. Being able to send problem notifications to all of our users about issues on the network, things like this, or even getting real-time information sent back to us, not by a user, but by the computer itself when something significant or something critical happens on that personal computer. Applications such as Microsoft's Systems Management Server, or SMS, the IBM Tivoli Enterprise, and Hewlett Packard OpenView are a few good examples of these types of network management applications. And of course, they've been around for a very long time now. The industry has put a great amount of trust in applications such as these to give us the information that we need to be able to successfully manage our networks regardless of size. So these are the types of applications that you may be looking at when you're coming in from the network management side. And remember, there's always a very distinct difference between the individual that manages the network and the individual that simply uses the network. The individuals who simply use the network are more focused on whether the network is working fine as they access their applications, whereas the network manager is more focused on how well the network is working for all of the users to achieve optimum speed and reliability.